Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a love spread for the sign of Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if you're a cross watcher dealing with a Taurus, these messages may or may not resonate with you. If they don't, check out your other placements for additional messages. All right, so Taurus, cut the deck and jump in. All right, so currently, some of you are waiting to make some type of decision here. You could be at a crossroads. Um, so I feel like some of you are waiting for some type of communication as well. Uh, maybe from somebody who disappointed you in the past. Some of you are waiting for somebody to come and see you but there is definitely a heavy energy of waiting for some type of communication here okay what's challenging okay so some okay you guys are waiting for somebody to communicate uh, I feel like some of you could be manifesting this or just really wishing for um, a reconciliation with somebody, a new start from, with somebody from your past here. What's in your immediate past? Mm -hmm. There is a, just, you, some of you could have found something out about somebody that somebody could have been in another commitment or married even in the past, in your recent past, and that left you feeling, um, like you're feeling like you missed an opportunity, but I just heard like blessing in disguise. But yeah, there was some snooping or something. Some type of communication came through about this person being in another commitment. And if that's not the case, this could be also um, you know, I could, you know, make up several different storylines, but to be honest with you, that's that's what I'm getting the most. So there was a disappointment in love in the past. And you're feeling like you um, wasted your time. Yeah, you feel like you wasted your time. This was a painful ending for you. And you, you want to communicate that. Okay, so some of you could be waiting for some type of apology from this person. Um, yeah, somebody was juggling for sure. Hmm. What are your thoughts? Could be dealing with a fire sign. I feel like you're you're keeping your thoughts to yourself for now. This conflicting energy that you have. It's like maybe you're you want to communicate with this person about um like how painful the ending was, how done you were, etc. Fill in the blank. You want to communicate that to this person, but you're keeping it to yourself for now. Cause I do feel like there will be some type of communication coming through eventually, but right now you're keeping shit to yourself. And you're really pissed off about this, too, because you have the Queen of Swords here with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Like, you're upset about the fact that you wasted your time. What's in your immediate future? This person could be a... Authority figure, somebody in a high position. You have the emperor in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries as well. Um, Sagittarius. But you are trying to be patient. I feel like you're running out of patience. I feel like you guys, um, you feel very burdened here. You don't 
like waiting when it comes to this. Um, it's like you're tired of waiting for this new beginning is what I'm getting. It's too much. Um, so for some of you, you're going to be making the decision to, to move on. What are your fears? But you're also fearing this ending. Yeah, you fear this ending. You fear, it's like, is it really done is what I'm hearing. You have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Tower. So it's like, very conflicting energy as far as like communication goes and this could be you or the other person but it's like you fear saying something that you're going to regret later or like you fear um that's what it is it's like fearing that if you move too quickly on this or communicate something harshly that um, there, there will never be a new beginning here with this person. Like, um, you'll never be able to go back. That, that's a weird message, but that's what I'm getting. Environment. Okay, who's in your environment? Somebody that you, um, you gave more than they did. It was a very unbalanced connection. So, or somebody was giving to somebody else. Yeah, as I say that, the Three of Cups comes in. So, um, somebody, this person in your environment is somebody that you had to walk away from because they were giving to somebody else. What's in your hopes? What are you hoping for, Taurus? To re so, part of you hopes... You want to release and um, wrap up the cycle, but it's like you, there's a lot of fear here. You feel trapped. What's the outcome? The star. So healing energy. Why is the star here? Seven of Cups. You're going to have options coming in. but you're really tired. It's like things will move forward for you here. Um, yeah, it'll be, it's going to be a painful healing process, but you do have um, options coming in for you. Okay. Yeah. So you could be on with Leo. Okay. Definitely. Okay. So there are, Things will move forward for you, okay? Um, you do have the sun here as an overall energy with the Wheel of Fortune. You could have a newer, a new connection coming in for you, but I feel like a lot of you are going to be resisting this connection. It, it is showing up as a wish fulfillment, but there's a lot of resistance here because of pain from the past. Okay, yeah. It could be this person returning trying to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. I do see that. Um, some of you could definitely be dealing with an Aries. You have Sagittarius. Leo. Pisces. Aquarius. Virgo. Scorpio. More Leo. Okay. Let's see, what is, <laughs> so I didn't say it out loud, but I was thinking it, I was trying to clarify this queen of swords down here with the seven of pentacles in reverse and what comes out, the queen of swords. So it's like you are over, you're, you're trying to make head over heart decisions, right? So...
Why is the Seven of Cups here in the outcome? Okay, so more healing energy. You got, you got the Ten of Wands twice in your outcome. That's feeling a burden here. Um, okay, so yeah, you will get to a point where something new is going to come in for you and you're going to have to make a decision here. And I feel like your decision is um, whether or not you want to be with this person because I do see this person coming back around. And for those of you who are dealing with an Aries, you should check out their reading because um, there's this kind of similar here where you could have Aries in your chart or be a cusp because this person's going to come back around and offer you some type of stability here. Um, this Ten of Pentacles, they want to work together with you. Mm -hmm. They want to come out of this energy. This is what you're wishing for. So some of you are manifesting this. I do see it's going to take some time with the Knight of uh, Pentacles here. It's going to take some time for this to come into fruition for you, but I do see it happening. This person's definitely coming back around. All right. Because you had the Emperor again. Taurus. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Exactly. This person's going to come back around and try to have a heart-to-heart a -heart with you. And they're going to want to offer you something. Taurus. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, you're going to need some support to get through this, possibly. Romantic feelings. Stay optimistic. Yeah, so there is some healing that needs to take place. Um, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Let your friends help you. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Getting to know each other with heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So definitely some communication will be coming through regarding the situation. Um, and you'll have a decision to make whether or not you want to move forward with this person or not. Okay. So those are the messages I have for you. If you resonate, please subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys soon.